Hey everybody, come on in. Trying to get, there comes my puppy dog. There she comes. Yeah, she has to get some love and where'd you leave Robert? Hmm? Where'd you leave Robert? Yeah, you want you want on the camera? You want on the camera? Look at this, oh, she's wet. Oh, she's wet. Yes, Tulip's here. Come here, Tulip. Come here. You want up on the camera? Come here. She can be a lap dog when she wants to be. She really can. But she's wet right now. Here comes the kitty, too. Seems like they all know when I'm coming on. But I have some tea. Get yours. And let's... I think I need to turn this one. Hey, Diana. Yeah, where's the yeah, pin rods here? Ooh, that's hot. Come on in. I got it. Yep, he knows I have on black jeans. And having black jeans just draws a white kitty it really does they just think it's the only thing they have to mark me oh my goodness i wish you could see this <laughs> iced tea sounds pretty good too y'all yep i have white hair on my jeans now and they were nice and pretty yeah tulip really wants to see y'all she really wants to see you there's the puppy. There's the puppy. It's not easy to do. There's Justin. Did Ethan get off today? Oh, it got hot here in Kentucky. Well, it's warm out here too, but our house stays cool during the day and it only starts warming up until about right now. Yeah, Tulip. Tulip and Penrod are all sacked out getting ready to lay down take a nap a puppy nap a siesta and that's what you do when it gets hot so folks let's drink up hmm oh that hits a spot i can set it right there so what do y'all want to talk about this afternoon already done one show out here and the winds just calm as it can be so we don't have any wind chimes and the birds and the squirrels are around I hear one coming I hear a critter it's on its way the squirrel highway yeah so this morning we talked about about stepping out in faith. Something big is in this woods over here. Stepping out in faith and, and recognizing that, you know, we're tired. We, sometimes we just get tired of living in the clutter and the chaos of, of everything. And we need some little something to get us moving some little something and what is it you know what do you think it is to get you moving um i can't make i can you know they have a saying you can lead a horse to water but you can't make it drink well i can lead you to your kitchen sink but i can't make you shine it i can do that but I can't, I can't make you get in there and do it. You have to do it for yourself. There's just some things you have to do for yourself. Now, Leanne did a show today at 1 o'clock, and my computer froze up for some reason. I had to move over to my phone, but I probably missed the best part, and I'm going to go back and listen to it. That's some squirrels fighting, y'all. And she talked, it was a quote. Leanne, you can put the quote in here. Um, it was about wishbones and backbones. 
wishbones and backbones. And if wishes were horses, beggars would ride. Yeah, that's that's the old timey saying. We can wish all day long, but unless we get up and do something, as my granny said, pretty is as pretty does. We have to get up and move to to get all that to get things going. Now, many years ago, Robert handed me a book by Scott Adams, and it was The Future According to Dilbert. And the back of that book, which is a weird book, and that I don't do cartoons. I don't even like cartoons. I don't understand cartoons most of the time. I've never really wor worked in a corporate atmosphere. And so I don't really get cartoons. But I got the last four chapters of that book. They changed my life. And the reason they changed my life is because it was all about those wishes. Instead of wishing, turning them into affirmations by thinking on them. And I put my wishes in the back of my control journal. I did. I wrote down my list of wishes put them in the back of my control journal, and every day I would see them. And so it would put the idea of music in my life, music for my fly babies. And it, it really changed the way I put things out there. I think it's like putting it out there for the Holy Spirit to grab a hold of it and make your wishes come true. But you have to have actions to go along with those wishes. Simple actions of getting up every morning. Scott Adams calls them systems. I call them routines. Leanne calls them goals. Joan's getting her hair cut. Yay! I don't know if I can make it through summer with this long hair. I don't know. I'm going to try. So... Let's think about those wishes that Leanne talked about us writing down. Write those wishes down. Just the act of writing them down is important. I set out on New Year's Day of 1991 to just pick. I wanted to get organized. How, how do you do that? I didn't know how to do that. But I knew I wanted it. It was my wish to be organized. And as I tried to figure out why I had never been able to keep house in my life, it's when it hit me. I was mean to me. I should be my biggest cheerleader. But I was being mean to me. So, I decided instead of piling on and trying to do a million things at one time, which we don't do well, I would pick one thing. And that was shining my sink. Shining my sink. Every Making sure that when I went to bed at night, I shined my sink. Time out here. Leanne, you forgot the chair. <laughs> I gave her a chair last night and we left it on the back porch. Probably because when we walked in the house, it was getting dark. <laughs> and we didn't see it. But if you have wishes and dreams and you know one of my favorite songs is ryan sheep song dream big look it up on youtube play it dream but you got to set some routines in action you got to set you got to set set things up so that you can get the things done in your house that's keeping you from these dreams and wishes and hopes if you set those things up where you get those the things in your house out of the way, then before you know it, those things are coming true. And it's such a fun way to live to be surprised by when those dreams come true. When the Holy Spirit puts Amy Lacey's music in your hot little hand, and you say, oh, I've got to find this woman. And I do a Google search and I find her. And I call her. And she says, well, I've been writing some music, some fly lady music. I've written this one song. And I said, well, sing it for me. And she says, well, I don't have my piano with me. I'm in the grocery store. <laughs> but 
it's it's such a surprise even though we've been hoping and dreaming and wanting these things until we get our house in order none of those things are going to happen none of those things are going to come true but we've got to get the main things it's like when you are working something was behind me yeah when when you work a puzzle think about a puzzle for a second you got this big jigsaw puzzle and leanne and i were looking at some houses online yesterday and we saw this table in this one room and it was a jigsaw puzzle laid out on this table a lot of people have worked jigsaw puzzles during our during our uh quarantine and what i noticed about the jigsaw puzzle was that the frame was done up the outside frame was done up yep the outside frame was done but where were the rest of the pieces they probably had to put them in a box and put them away for the picture but she didn't want to have to redo the whole puzzle that she had worked on. So she says, I'm leaving it out. I can just see her. And I don't even know her, but I can just see the fact that she didn't want to redo that framework. Well, think about these hopes and dreams we have. You know, if it's just a wish, and Leanne was talking about a wishbone. Wishbones are made to be torn up, but, you know... At, at Thanksgiving, everybody wants to get the wishbone on the turkey and hold the tur hold the wishbone, and whoever gets the, the big side gets their wish come true. Well, it doesn't happen like that. you got to put a system in place to make these things happen. And if it's thinking about it every day, but then getting your house in order around it. But on that New Year's Day, I sat down to figure out why I wasn't organized. I was going to do it. Now, when you're working a jigsaw puzzle, you do the frame first, and then you start with little bastions of yellow, or little bastions of red, or blue sky, and you start putting these segments together. This is what happens in your house. Yeah, it is. You start cleaning out, cleaning off the surface, the surface of your, the flat surfaces in your home. If you can clean out the flat surfaces in your home, then your house looks clean. And as you go through your morning routines, you can do a little, just a tiny bit of opening up a drawer. Like when we're in, this week we've been in the bathroom, you can open up a drawer in your bathroom and clean it out. It takes two minutes to clean out the drawer. And your home is gonna start feeling organized. Your home is going to start feeling uh, comforting. I mean, I'm looking through the house right now, and I can see all the way to my front door. Under my couch without dust bunnies. Without dust bunnies. Thanks for the compliments on my hair. I am letting it grow. It'll grow until the end of June, and then we'll see. So let's drink some tea. Let's drink to those hopes and dreams turning in to realities. So one time I got a testimonial from a lady who was an art student. And she, when she was in college, the instructor, they were having a sculpting class. And the instructor gave them a block of wood a steel rod and some chicken wire and didn't give them any any instructions what do you do with it what do you do with it well some people just put it together any old way and started throwing clay onto it to make a sculpture well if you've ever messed in clay and I say mess because your, your hands get messy. Clay is heavy. Clay is super heavy. 
So they would build up this beautiful sculpture and they would work on it and they'd carve things out of it and let it dry and carve some more things out of it, wrap it up in plastic and carve the next day. And they'd get it to a certain point and there'd be so much clay on it, all of a sudden it would go, it would just fall down. And they learned an important lesson, which is kind of the same lesson my son is trying to teach his precious little 14 year old daughter is that if you go out in the water with AirPods in your ears, they're gonna fall out and go in the water. <laughs> and, and he won't let Nona buy our new set. Well, we get to learn a lesson. We get to learn a lesson from all of this. And that lesson is we have to do it in baby steps. We have to have games. We have to be able to play at the same time. And that's what we need because we're creative people. We want to have fun. And when we can let go of our perfectionism, what's stuck in our heads, when we can let go of that perfectionism, we can change our homes. We can change the way our families feel about us. Yeah, they'll love you a whole lot when you quit being that martyred mom that said, I'm the only one that does anything around here. They, that one letting go of that perfectionism is going to change your life. I've had mine fall in water too, and you just take it out, shake it off, and if you need to put it in a bag of rice, you can do that. But mine, mine was fine. Ben dropped his in the toilet. So everybody, we can do this. Setting up a framework, whether it's a rod and a piece of wood and wire and anchoring the wire, our routines, our systems of getting our house in order is the framework for this life you're dreaming about. You can do this. You really can. And you'll see the difference in your home when you start taking these baby steps. So let's drink up. Now, many years ago, when Saving Dinner started, Leanne was... It was the week before September the 11th, 2001, and Leanne was helping me. She put together some crock pot meals and gave a menu plan for everybody. And the first week, everybody did it and had a great time with it because we were decluttering like crazy people. I mean, we were getting rid of some clutter. People were posting their pounds of clutter they had gotten rid of. And then on Tuesday of the next week, the planes crashed into the Twin Towers and into the Pentagon and into that field in Pennsylvania, and life changed. But the system that had been put in place of doing your morning routine, of getting dressed to lace up shoes, of getting something in your crock pot. Tulip, what is that? That's a, that's a dog or something. There's something in my yard. Anyway, it all changed. And people said, we need some more recipes for this next week. And I looked at Leanne and I said, have you got five or six more recipes? She came up with some more. And Saving Dinner was born. It was given birth on Fly Lady. Now Tulip's right here. But it, it's like a dog. It's not the cat. I think the cat went in the house. Maybe it is the cat. But you never know. Leanne put herself out there. She came and did an interview about me for her local newspaper. And look at the friendship that bloomed from that one thing. And the business that's bloomed from her stepping outside of herself, 
to let go of the fear. Uh oh, tulips on it. Oh my, I think it's a, a groundhog. Yeah, I think it's a groundhog. <laughs> no, it's little. I saw it. It's about this big. It's not a chipmunk. But it's rummaging. But you have, instead of being, uh, Leanne could have been envious of me. But she wasn't. She knew that what I was teaching had changed her life. And she wanted to share it with others. That simple act of wanting to help other people helped her. So when Fly Lady started, we had a, I had a fortune cookie at Twin Dragons. That's why I love Twin, Twin Dragons. Is this fortune cookie said, when you continually give, you will continually have. And that's what, that, that is how it works. It's how the world turns. You get your house in order, it frees you up to be able to help others. Did you find it, Tulip? Here she comes. There's Robert. They're gonna go do something. But we've got to let go of our envy, our martyrdom, our perfectionism, and we will see those dreams turn into realities. And it's that simple. We never have to marathon clean. Now you can crash this clean, but that's 45 oh. minutes. Well, it's really an hour, but because the last 15 minutes is the most important 15 minutes of the whole hour. We never have to run around. Yesterday, I took my blankie off the couch because I had put a blankie down on the couch for Tulip because she sheds white hair. And I did a quick, with quick, there goes the gator. Robert's getting in the gator. He's going to go to his rock wall. It backfired. That was weird. Well, thank you all for being here. I've run my mouth. Thank you for the stars. I got 50 stars. That's good. Y'all are precious. You show up. That's half the battle, you know? Get up in the morning, get dressed to lace up shoes. That's half the battle. Knowing what's for dinner, that's another half. We have several halves to this. It's just puttering along. Robert hauls wood, rocks, all kinds of stuff with that thing. This is our second one. He wore one out. Let's see, Ethan is 17 years old. We got it before he was born. Yeah, we got it before he was born. And we had it for about 14 years. And then Robert got another one because he couldn't make this one work. And then he gave it away and they fixed it. <laughs> anyway. Clean off those flat surfaces. During this time of quarantine, if you keep your laundry done, you keep your dishes done... Um, you get up and you get dressed to lace up shoes every day and put something in your crock pot or in your Instapot for dinner. Those four things are going to free you up. You may be locked down in your house, but you're going to be free to follow your dreams and find out what they are because a lot of times we don't. One thing, when we remodeled the house in 2000, It was, as we started in July of 2000, and I was terrified, absolutely terrified. It had been a dream since Robert and I got married, and 
he had inherited a little money from his aunt and he said, here's what I will do. I'll take half of it and I'll invest it in, in my retirement fund and you can have the other half. There wasn't a whole lot, but we remodeled the house and it was the best thing we ever did because that was just about the time Fly Lady started. I was getting organized and she's busy. You didn't go with Robert? She didn't want to go with Robert. She's got to guard mama. That's what she's got to do. And I was terrified that I was going to lose my routines. I had worked on them for a year. And I was terrified that with a house in turmoil, I was going to go back to my chaotic way of living. And you know, we didn't. We had plastic up around the living room. We didn't have air conditioning all summer. The refrigerator was on the front porch. And Justin was here every day. And I watched these guys. He worked for Mr. Mark Goff. And I watched these guys. And every day, they had a routine. At 15 minutes till 4, they started cleaning up. They would clean up their mess. And they'd put their tools away. They didn't really have to put their tools away, but they put them in one place because they didn't want the tools being in our way. And, you know, I would make my bed every day. And if I wanted to take a nap, I'd turn a fan on in our bedroom and shut the door and I'd take me a nap with them with hammers going. So I had a system. I'd get up and do my routine. I put something in the crock pot, cooking in the front bedroom. I had an outdoor kitchen that I could utilize. We didn't even have the tree house then. That would be my outdoor kitchen now. But we got things done. And I didn't let my routines fall away. So once you establish those routines, they're hard to break them. They're hard to break them. So here's to setting up those systems to keep your life sane. And right now we need that more than ever. We really do. So getting up and getting dressed in the morning gets rid of excuses. Putting a load of laundry in the wash machine gets rid of excuses. Doing a load a day is going to keep you sane. And next week, we're tackling our master bedroom and our closet. Yeah, we are. Just take a deep breath. It smells so good out here, but this tea smells pretty good too. What do you do with heirlooms you can't sell and nobody wants? I'm ready to let them go. I would off, offer up as a great place to let go of things. I take pictures of them. Uh, I let go of a couple of heirlooms once upon a time, and I knew I had, who I gave them to, and I put she put them in her little um, antique mall booth, and I went back and bought them. It was my great-grandmother's butter bean dish. She served her vegetables in this dish, and I kept it, and I get it out on Thanksgiving, and I use it. Yep. It's going to turn into that. <laughs> oh, well, y'all have a great rest of the day. Remember, do something fun. Do something fun with the family tonight. Make, make some memories. Oh, got a little breeze. The kids, we have a, a children's control journal you can download for free. And the kids will love it. Keep up the good work. You're doing great. See you tomorrow. Bye.